She's um, from Sweetway. She's been living on Sweetway for how long? Two months. Two months. Just two, two months. months. Just two months. So, um, so tell us so more about your situation. I, I was evicted from uh, Prairie Park, where, Prairie Park, which is in North Finchley. I lived there from 2005, October till 2011, November. Six More than six. 2005, that's about eight. So I was evicted. I was. The landlord wanted it back. I think they wanted to sell it. Yeah. It was private rented, but went into the council. So the council put me there. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So the council nominated me and so the landlord rented it to the housing association, which was stadium housing. So they can't put me there. So I was there since last year, November. I was evicted. Uh, the papers went through the court. I gave the, pa the papers to the court. Be before, I mean, from August till November, they knew I had to be out on the 20th of November. Mm. So they didn't house me till 19th, a day before when the bailiffs were coming. To Prairie Park? Yes, 20th November, 8 a.m. That's when they were supposed to come. So a day before I came to the council, about, say about half nine, I said, look, I've got to get out. I'm single. I've got the 14 year old who's at school. I've got beds and chairs and everything on my own. I need the key earlier so that I start moving. They didn't see me till about 2.30. They, they gave me the key about 3. So you had to move? I had to move all night. So they gave me the key to an empty house. Left right. Yeah, empty. There's nothing there. Nothing. They didn't give me somebody taking there. I had to go look at myself. So I opened, I didn't know where the key meter was. So in the middle of the night, the electricity went off. It took me time to get the supplier. There was no fridge, there was no cooker. And where did you find it, Was your other place found? Yeah, yeah, I bought the furniture myself. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I've uh, settled there since November and now I have to move again. And what did you say? The people when you arrived in Sweet Sight, what did they say to they you? They were though? laughing at me, they were like, not laughing at me, but they were like saying, why is she here? We are moving out. So obviously they didn't tell me, they just told me recently when they started moving, you know. But for, they told me that I was going to be there three months. Yeah. The council told me, but because they gave me the key last minute, I didn't have a choice because mm. I didn't have anywhere to leave. So I had to go there, which I found really unfair for me, living in a place for just a short time and move again. And then where are you now? I'm still a sweet way. Yeah. And everybody, every, everybody's moved out. Yeah. So it's like a desert. There's no one there apart yeah. from me. It's dark, it's scary. scary. Yeah. So now they offered me a place in um, Harrow, which is a and where did your son go to school? Compton, Summers Lane. So one so, side of Barnet, and yeah. they offered you in Harrow and Wheelstone, yeah, yeah. right? Have you seen the property? I, I went there, but it was on the second floor. I've got the arthritis in my leg, and the uh, housing officer said, you've got to take it. You've got to take it, and then um, if you don't like it, come in and complain, and, and then we shall review your case. So I'm like, what's the point of moving there with a child who's going to change school? Then have my case reviewed and then move my son again. So it's temporary again. Yeah. Emergency or temporary? It was like temporary. Uh, temporary. So, so I didn't take it and, and they were saying they're gonna they're gonna drop my case, you're gonna be homeless, you have to look for yourself a place. So I brought in my letter of referral for my arthritis. That's when they said, Okay, it's fine now. Yeah, we are not dropping you to be homeless to get your own place so we shall house you so i'm still waiting i'm left with one week now i haven't i haven't been shown any place i'm so desperate i'm so worried i'm so panicky i'm so and how's your son my son is panicky he's so worried because he thinks he's gonna move school as well his behavior is changing he doesn't sleep well so so you're private renting now in sweet place yeah so how much the you pay? Put me there. How much you pay rent? For a week or a month? No, a month. A month over one thousand. I don't pay it myself yeah. though. The council pays and I pay towards it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's the council which pays. So I've tried to look for private accommodation because I need my son to keep in the same school. Thank you. Yeah.
I want my son to keep in the same school, mm -hmm. and I've tried for a long time. They cannot take me on being on housing benefit. Because so you said you tried lots of estate agents? Yeah, I've tried so hard. They want a guarantor who earns fifty thousand pounds. I've got no one who earns fifty thousand among my friends. No one. I can't find one. Hey, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> so, so I'm just waiting for the council. I don't know what they're gonna do. Do you have me. a date? First of March. First of March. Yeah. Eviction. That's a week from now. And are your neighbours in there? They're all born. There's no neighbours. This whole day. I'm just by myself. Just by myself. It's so scary. And the people coming round trying yeah. to take the belongings. Yeah. Uh, I've seen gangs of people. I'm scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm worried for my son. You know? So that's my situation. And so where have we been now? We've been to the castle to see the to meet the castle. I don't know whether it's gonna help us. I'm just hopeful. I don't know. I'm so desperate. I'm so worried. Especially for my child. Is there anything else you wanna say? I would love the cancer to to think seriously about people's lives children's lives and treat us as human beings yeah. it, has been, it has been pointed out that well uh, Cornelius is saying that he doesn't have any power at all when he can I mean they have the empty homes management act which they can they could have used about four years ago yeah. from four years ago they could, they could have done that if they had known that Swiss way was going to be evicted mm. and now they they're still they which they did know yeah. they, 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 they knew they knew they knew why evict people last minute without knowing where they are yeah Plus the weather, this, uh, this thing that this... They approved the, they approved the planning yeah. application knowing that they would they would be evicting 100, or 153 people. Yeah. 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 There's, no, there's nowhere for them to go. They knew that and they knew they should have it is. They should have housing people. Once there's eviction going on, there's a date they should house people two weeks before, a month before, so that people know where they're going. You do not give a kid somebody to just move to a place an area they don't know. It's out and, of order. And if they knew they didn't have the homes, then why are they doing the evictions? And I they know. have made no plans to yeah. yeah. house people. It's I not know. fair at all for children, especially. There's so many children, yeah. isn't there? Being in their lives, I mean, I know, myself, you know, in any age, you know, there's so much to cope with in life, full stop. You're so much childbirth in PT. You don't know where you're going to be. How can you cope with life? You don't know where you're going to go to. You're worried about making friends, you know? Whether you're going to move to a place where there's guns, where there's drugs, where there's where the you're going to move to a place where there's guns, where the registration is bad, where kids behave bad, you know? Tell me about your house, but it's so dirty. I think, oh well, a bit of dirt. But then when I think about what's your home, that has to be your I home, know. and that is so dirty. I know when like, my friends have moved into to different private private residences, I've scrubbed the place with them because I know they've took a, a, a lesser place because it was cheap, you know. And because of that, we had to scrub it into, you know, to clean it. So I know, like, somebody from Number Eleven, she's moved triple in a storage place of uh, seven floor and there's bed bags. I met her the other day she's got blisters everywhere. Yes, as we speak to the second minute, she said the, the place she got put in in uh, Honda's end, the door didn't even close. The front door didn't well, even close. Yeah. You know, they need to have friends in advance and send a housing office and say, look, so and so, we found a property, I want to come with you, I'll show it to you, see whether you like it. Treat people as human beings. Not just dumb people. You've anyway. got good houses in Sweetway. Do you know? Only yeah, built in the 80s. Nice it's family houses. Really nice house. and lovely, actually. Um, you know? It's not as. And, and you know what they're building in place? After they bulldoze, it's all going to be beyond any of that. Bit. None of us can afford It's a shame, isn't it? Hmm. It's more like, uh, I mean, uh, for the most part, it's more uh, profiteering, really. I mean, those houses would be within your reach if you just, uh, if that's being built by, by the council for, uh, for the, uh, for the, well, the taxpayers or uh, the, the, the people living in Barnet. They, it would be, but then of course they, they just inflate the prices quite so much. To build a three bed, a three bed terrace house would probably be about what, 120,000 pounds, and that's it. Most people can afford that. Yeah, but even still, there's over three thousand. It's 
sorry, uh, free, Freedom of Information Request pointed out that there's 3,600 empty dwellings in Barnet itself. That's more than enough just for Sweet Swain and everybody else who are needs housing in Barnet. Thank you for telling your story and thank you okay. for your time. And <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Okay, okay guys, this is, uh, yeah, occupying this network. But please, please follow, uh, yeah, our uh, Barnet Housing Action Group that's on Facebook. And also uh, on Twitter is Barnet Action, Barnet H Action, and of course Occupy this Network. Thanks. Peace out. See you soon.